we have been using Tinkercad, which is a CAD program where you can make your own design and then you can export it and 3D print it. So we are going to learn a skill today and we're gonna learn how to make a dice. So what you need to do is up in the upper right hand corner, you need to click on learn and then you need to click on the middle one that says lessons. So click on lessons and then you need to say see all lessons. You're going to scroll down and you're going to click on die from scratch. And then if you hover over this area right here, it says die from scratch, a start button comes up and you click start. It's asking you to put a die on the work plane. So if you scroll down from your basic shapes and go all the way down, grab a die and stick it in the work plane. You're going to hit next. And now you're going to add a work plane to this dice right now. So there is a work plane on the bottom and it's kind of a weird idea, but you can actually add more than one work plane and that's what it's asking you to do. So I'm gonna zoom in. Up in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to grab the work plane tool and do you see the white cone? I'm going to match it up with the other white cone and stick it there. I'm going to hit next and now a number one appears. Click on design starters, it's the green cube. And then if you click on the A, that will give you numbers and letters. And we're going to drag out the number one. And we're going to place the number one in the transparent orange number one that was just shown. The next thing you need to do is you need to move the number one down into a cube. So I liken this to using clay and then you take an object and you press it into the clay and then you have the mold or the outline of it in the clay. We're kind of doing the same thing here. So we're going to click on the cone up here. So it's a red cone or a black cone depending on if you're hovering on it or not. Take it, click hold and drag it down to minus one. You can also click in here and you can also just type in minus one. We're going to hit next and we're going to change the snap grid over here. It's in the bottom right hand side to 0.25 millimeters just to make it a little more accurate. We're going to click next and now we're going to do the next work plane. As you can see, there's a transparent orange square. I'm going to go to the work plane tool drag it down and line up the two dots. I'm going to click next and the number two appears. So I grab the number two, I place it on the cube. As before, I need to move it down into the cube to make an indentation in the cube. So I click on the cone and I move it down until it says minus one. And again, you can type in minus one. I click next, I find the next work plane I drag the work plane over, place it again, lining up my two circles. I click next and now I grab the number three. I want to move the number three down and smush it into the cube. So I'm going to go down minus one. And again, you can type in there. I click next. I'm going to look for the next work plane. You click the work plane tool, drag it on, line up the two circles, click next, and click number four. You're going to grab the little cone, move it down to where it says minus one, and click next. We're gonna find our next work plane. I'm going to grab the work plane tool and line it up with the other white dot, click next, I'm going to grab the number five. I'm going to use my rotate cube so I can find the cone and I'm gonna move this down. And I'm going to move this down minus one. It's just a pattern. We're doing the same thing for all of these sides. And again, for the last one, I grab the work plane tool, match up the two white dots, click next, and let me, I have this upside down, so let me turn it. There we go. Grab a number six. And now I need to smush it down into the cube. So this one I'm gonna turn upside down and I'm going to move it minus one. And I'm going to hit next. 
And now I want to reset my work plane. So I grab the work plane tool and I just drag it in. And now I just have one work plane. And as you can see, I have all my numbers. They're all different colors. And I'm going to click on the number one. And if you hit hole, it makes it transparent. I'm going to click on the number two, click hole. It makes it transparent. Now, instead of clicking each of these individually, what I can do is I can click on the three, push on my shift key, hold it down, don't let it go. Click on the next number, still holding the shift key. Click on the next number, still holding the shift key. And click on the last number, still holding the shift key and click hole. Right now my numbers are transparent, but they are still not holes. And now I need to select all of these. So you can click, hold, and drag over the entire shape, and that selects everything. Um, you can also do Control A, or if you're on a Mac, Command A. And we're going to group everything. And now you can see you have your cube with the indentations. And you can also change the color of it. So go ahead and change the color to whatever color you like. And then I need you to screenshot it and I need you to put it in Google Classroom under Create a Dice Tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and I hope you have fun with this. Have a great day.